All right, welcome to the Ready, Set, Gemini podcast. I am Dan Mora, your host, and across from me, my co-host. Hey, everybody. It's uh, Frank Smithson over here. Hey, Frank. How, how are you today? Doing good. Uh, doing good. Ready for the holidays and um, excited about our topic today. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So um, let's get right in. Um, as of uh, last week, contracts were signed, and we have announced to the world that we have purchased Sailor Legal out of Monterey. Yeah, they are a civil service or process company, plus they offer some other services to civil attorneys. So it's a whole new realm for us. Yeah, big, big thing. Um, Definitely. We've had it on our strategic roadmap and in goal format for five years. Decade, probably a decade. Decade, you yeah. know, I, I know for me, this has been on my radar for as soon as we kind of solidified that our driving force was going to be uh, focused on, on law firms and lawyers and um, understanding everything that they need and want, it became clear to me that we could, that, that the idea for growth was to add, and it's in our vision statement, to yeah. add um, new types of law. Growing a number of attorneys and types of law. Yeah. Yeah. Um, so this is exciting. And, we, you know, we have had a little bit of practice with work comp, we have some attorneys that also practice civil, so we do the civil subpoenas for them. Mm -hmm. um, Not that many, and, and that very, was very few. Yeah, and it was part of why it took us this long, really, to get to get here because it was my focus to just get really good at workers' compensation, which is, I think, the right focus. Like we're focused on a user class, so let's make sure we're doing that properly. Mm -hmm. So where you know, when we go into any new market, we can feel confident that we'll be able to support the, our existing work comp and, you know, start to see what we, if we can add the same level of value to a whole new industry, right? Yeah, and I market. think a, a concern for sure that our work comp clients are going to have is are we going to lose focus on workers' compensation? And the answer is no, and that was part of what took us so long, I would say, yeah. to get into civil litigation. <clears throat> uh, we didn't want that to be the case so our our workers compensation infrastructure and technology and um and really the the people because you know they're the ones that that are are, uh, are doing the work um set up for success for both to keep our focus on workers compensation but also to help us focus on new types of law definitely yeah so to you work comp Clients, thank you for your continued uh, um, trust in us, and you don't have to worry. We're we're uh, going to keep running a tight ship and um, uh, keep innovating too. I think that's kind of important. Yeah, I, I think you know me. I like the details. So specifically, we have a team, like for example, in engineering and in product, correct, that are responsible for the maintenance of our work comp system mm -hmm. in terms of software and all our online integrations, that type of, that type of stuff that's solely focused on just work comp and that team is not going to change. So mm -hmm. all of the same level of dedication and energy that we're putting into, you know, bringing the new best efforts is still there. Same thing with our operations. We have like an entire team. So what we're doing with civil is we're just creating basically a new division almost for, of the mm -hmm. company. We have, um, a very specific uh, operations manager that's going to have a lot of learning opportunity. We're going to go in. We're going to understand how S Sailor functions. Um, and with the caveat that says, hey, Gemini, you know, we feel pretty confident in the way that we develop business. Yeah. And so we'll take this, l this new challenge for us and apply the same principles that we've done to work comp in terms of how we build out process, how we listen yeah. to our clients and how we, yeah. you know, bring new new innovative uh, tools to the market yeah, and leverage the, the learning power that, of Sailor. They have employees there that have been there for 20 years. Yeah. That's fantastic. Yeah. That that's really important um, to convey is our entire goal right now is to learn. Oh yeah. Our entire goal is to just allow Be a sponge just to, to, uh, yeah, just to soak up everything we can about what, the, what they do, not change anything. We want our, their, their clients and their um, and their employees to, under, to understand we don't know your job. We yeah. don't know your world. <laughs> and, and we really need to understand it. 
clearly. What, what we do know is lean, lean business. Correct. And what lean dictates is that the people doing the work best know how to solve their own problems. Right. And I think we got the right person going there too. Uh, Joe Bellary, mm-hmm. he's been with Gemini forever. I think going on 12, 12 years. Oh, he just hit he, 10. He just hit 10. He yeah. just hit 10. Yeah. Um, and he's rose through ranks in a lot of different positions. So he really understands how we develop here. Mm-hmm. And so he's going to get to go down to Monterey, by the way, or Santa Cruz. I think they have two satellite offices mm-hmm. and be able to be on location and learn directly from the people. Um, yeah. And then huge shout to Joe for, for making that sacrifice. You know, it's really hard to go live at the beach for. Oh, yes. Yes. <laughs> Yeah. yeah, I know this week, I think he's bringing his wife and his kid too, so. Yeah, I know. That's uh, awesome. I'm jealous. I'm just going to put it out there. I'm a little <laughs> jealous. I think this is a f- really fun project for him to execute. Yeah, um, for sure. W- one other concern I think that uh, uh, people are going to have, whether it's with our new um, sailor clients or with our existing clients, is you know that we're too big to be responsive, um, too big to, you know, uh, what do they say, the... the uh, harder to steal a, steer a large ship, you know, the sure. Thing. And I think that that's, um, a challenge for us for sure, for sure. It, it, and something we have to focus on is, is just not allowing, um, our size to slow down being responsive. And it, again, you point to lean and that's a huge, that's a huge reason why we feel confident that we can respond. Um, we've proven it too. Like, mm-hmm. let's just think of the, you know, med legal, um, yeah. We, we acquired the majority of their business in a very short window of time. Mm. And we had challenges. We had people working on some Saturdays, mm-hmm. but we were able to get through it. And I don't think we've lost a single client during that transition. Yeah, for sure. We've proven it. And that's, um, yeah, we hope we, ho- we hope we continue to earn the confidence and we're going to do everything we can yeah. to continue to earn confidence of our, of our clients and our employees for sure. Um, another question would be, you know, how does like pricing change? Um, and I, you know, in workers' compensation, we're not competing on price. Uh, what I will say about how we 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 approach pricing in the civil litigation market is, we're just we, we need to be competitive. Um, we need to we need to win business. We need to uh, show um, show the clients that we're responsive to that as well. You yeah. know, their needs and their understanding of of the value that's okay i was waiting for that word to come out because (laughs) that's what we sell when we when we are in the work comp market and we've proven that we have what i would like to believe is the highest value of of anyone in the industry Mm -hmm. um in in terms of copy services and so let's bring that same perspective over to civil Mm -hmm. we best quality of product and best value if, if we can pull it off i think which i'm confident we will we got a lot of success ahead of us and it's going to benefit our work comp family too. Yeah, that's Um, true. So we're going to be offering, um, service of process. Mm -hmm. We're going to have a filing solution that's Mm -hmm. going to work with all e-filing courts in the state of California. Mm -hmm. We'll also support courts that don't do e-filing through physical filing, Mm -hmm. um, courtesy copies, type of courier service, Mm -hmm. uh, skip trace, and I think I mentioned subpoena, which we already do. And one of the nice things about this transition is it's really like a wrap up. It's like a consolidation of different offerings all through the same platform to give users a very uh, succinct process. No matter if you're doing work comp or if you're doing civil, the experience is going to be, you know, what you would come to expect with, with Gemini. Definitely, you know, top notch. And, yep. and that, that gives, that's a good lead into you know where does this go how does this uh, unfold over over time and and i'll repeat our first absolute first goal is just to learn and understand and absorb um absorb uh and and welcome and make sure sure that the clients and the employees are stable we got to ensure that stability and part of that is going to point to what systems are not stable so we have to shore up those systems if they need to be before we can move to the next phase, which we're not, you know, we have some ideas about what that next phase is and I'll, I'll kind of leave it at that. But, um, growth, growth is still what, what our employees want. Um, and, and, uh, that that's important that we continue to provide growth opportunities to our employees 
two, we feel that what we're doing is providing growth to the, the client base. Mm-hmm. Um, I think that that's pretty important. Again, with the focus on what they need and, and how we understand that, we do feel confident that we can provide uh, you know, best of class tools, uh, best in industry tools definitely to help them grow. Yeah. Um, and so it's all symbiotic and, um, growth is kind of the, the, the keyword, but we're not even there yet. We're in learn mode. Yeah. We're in learn mode for a while. Yeah. We need sure. to understand what it is we need to build to support the clients to specific to their needs. Right? Yeah, for sure. For sure. Um, any any outstanding questions you think that um, clients might want to know? I'm curious <coughs> about what people think, as always, you know. I um, feel like that this was a, a natural progression, and this happened. So I need to give credit for sure to the Sailor employees and to Stephanie Sailor for mm-hmm. sure. I think she re- recognized that we have the same value system. I think that that's um, really important when you go through an acquisition like this Mm -hmm. is to make sure that, you know, not just the business needs Mm -hmm. are taken care of, but also the cultural aspect of, you know, combining two businesses. And so they, we know that they're going to get along and we're going to be able to, you know, and Stephanie is, is staying on for six months through May. Cool. And so that's huge. She, I was, you know, I have to give her credit. Like this became, very exciting as we we got to know Stephanie. She has ran her business incredibly well. Um, has incredible loyalty from her from her clients and her employees because of who she is and how sure. she's run business. So, <clears throat> um, you know, she's staying on for six months, and then I think she's riding off into the sunset. Her, yeah, her she's s- ready to vacation for sure. <laughs> her husband's already <clears throat> retired. She's been doing. She's had sailor since 1991. She's been in the industry for long 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 time so we were i mean for her I, i'm i'm excited for her to uh you know enter this next chapter um so that's pretty cool very um very exciting yeah sure. yeah i'm excited i'm 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 definitely i'm kind of thinking towards the future like once we actually go full bore into civil you know anticipating the needs from the clients but really anyone listening to this podcast right now, let's say if you do work comp and civil, I'd really love to hear from mm-hmm. you. What, what do you guys need? Mm-hmm. You know, if we can start getting understanding of that up front, not just from the civil side right. that we're, that, you know, sailor is supporting, but mm. these like crossover that civil right. and the work comp, that's a really cool sweet spot that we can, mm-hmm. you know, try to figure out and improve. Yeah. Um, I'm excited about that. So yeah. Um, comments, please. Yeah. Super excited. All right. Well, that wraps us up. Thanks, Frank. Talk to you next time. Like, subscribe, hit the follow button, all that fun stuff. Definitely. Thanks again. Have a good one.